Hi guys, today we are talking about something very dear to my heart and that is game balance. Seven Wonders is one of the best balanced games there is. I think that's just a fact. I've played close to 10,000 games already and I still want to play and this is still my favorite game of all time. But not everything is perfect in New Edition, so today we are just looking what I would change if I was in charge of Seven Wonder Balance. Take a look with me. We are starting with Alexandria, we'll just go alphabetically. And Alexandria A has very few small, small changes. Uh, I think uh, this is not super necessary, but I had a chance to like take a look at all the wonders, so... Uh, I decided to touch this one as well. Uh, basically, stone is replaced with ore, and ore is with, replaced with wood. Alexandria A is a wonder that's uh, used very often to play with green, and I just wanted to give an option to play more in the red as well, uh, just by changing the resources to something that's better suited for red play, especially in higher player counts. I think this will uh, make Alexandria a little better, uh, but right now it's one of the worst wonders, if not the worst, at four player and three player, so that's quite miserable. Uh, here, this should help quite a lot. Uh, but uh, you, we can't always, like we can't talk about the A side without mentioning the B side. So this is the B side. And as you can see here, uh, the tiniest change possible probably, um, I just removed one of the ores here. I made it a little bit more like in the first edition, uh, where it was uh, clay clay, wood wood, and then three stone. Uh, so this is a little worse than first edition, but better than second edition. I think this is the perfect middle ground uh, for the Alexandria in the new edition, in the base game. I think this wonder was balanced with expansions in mind uh, in the second edition. And I just think that it didn't work super well for the base game. It still works, uh, but Alexandria, as I said, is on the weaker side. Uh, probably more often played on the B side still. And the worst uh, wonder in uh, free player and four player, uh, if I would make a list, uh, probably. So not something that you want to see often. It gets better at higher player counts. It gets much better with expansion, especially Armada. Uh, but here we usually talk about the base game, and I think that's where uh, like the competitive play is. Mm, and for that reason, I think that the, sing the removal of a single R actually would help quite a lot. It's not something that would break this wonder by any means, but it would just be a nice quality of life change. Then we go into the Babylon. Uh, Babylon, in on the A side, usually like I I'm a big uh, believer in the A side for Babylon. And I like it quite a lot. And there is quite a few play styles that you can do with the with the Babylon. Like it's it's just the resources are so good. Uh, the starting resource and the resources on the stages are so good for the red play that you can do like red, you can do green. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that you can do. Uh, but usually um, Babylon doesn't build the third stage. Like it's very, very rare. Uh, so I decided to make it uh, a little easier. I switched wood for uh, Papyrus, and uh, that's what I did, and I think that would help a little bit. It's still quite the cost uh, if you are not building the resources, but it just gives you um, a nice baseline that you can follow. I think Babylon is much more played on the on the B side. That's that's for sure, and this would just give this just a little bit of the push, but without making it uh, OP. I, I think this could be a really nice change. But again, let's not talk about this in the vacuum. What changed on the B side? Nothing. We just changed the loyalty here a little bit to make it um, hopefully better and not worse, but uh, tell me what you think about the loyalty in the comments. Uh, here nothing uh, needs to be changed. I think Babylon B is kind of in a good spot. Uh, when the second edition pr premiered, I was worried that this will be op OP. I think a lot of people were claiming it to be OP initially. Uh, but a lot of games showed that Babylon is actually fairly balanced. I think this is one of the like in the middle wonders that I really like. And um, what's more, maybe even more important, um, 
is that Babylon is a wonder that you can have great games with, but you ha can have terrible games with. And that's the B-side for you, just because of the nature of the B-side of the additional cards and stuff like this. Uh, so, so here, hopefully, with the A-side, you can get a little bit more stability, and here you can maybe gamble a little bit or just in specific setups profit. And I think that would complement it um, very, very nicely. Then we go into one of the sides that are most dear to my heart, I would say. I was a huge fan of S versus A, especially in free player. Uh, but if you, again, if you take a look at the new edition and uh, new edition A side and new edition B side, um, this is like 12 victory coins. And this originally was nine, but here I changed it to 11. Uh, so that should uh, give it a little bit more of an edge. It's still less, but the resources are better, uh, so the choice should be even harder. I found myself uh, in the five-player arena playing a lot of B side, even though like the A side would have been nice. But just like those free victory coins, coupled with the fact that you get the money earlier, still make it better for the stone. But I think with eleven coins, I think it would get much closer, and we could see a lot more play on the A side, and I think that's what we should aim for. Mm, just a nice, nice, uh, soft change here, just plus two gold, uh, nothing game-breaking, but uh, just quality of life update for FSS A side. And on the B side, one of the sides that I wouldn't change, I think, I think this is uh, very nice. This was changed a little bit from the previous edition, uh, previously, we had the rainbow cost here, so that would be Papyrus um, Cloth and the Battle here instead. Uh, we have Cloth and 2R. I think that was a good change. I like this site quite a bit. I don't think um, this is like this is OP, but any means uh, this is a very strong site in a lot of player counts, and this is where I think baseline for the wonders should be. The next one is Giza A. One of the sites that I think was better in the old edition, like in the four player, I remember playing a lot more Giza A uh, than I do in the new edition. Partially, the like the inc inclusion of the uh, gray costs on on Wonder Stage uh, is is a problem, uh, but here I decided to maybe go push it even further and go uh, swap one of the stones with one of the greys. You'll see that on a lot of sites. This was previously, you saw that on the uh, Babylon A site, and you'll see that at least once more, I think. Mm, this is to, to push this uncomfortable cost. Like, you don't need four stones for anything in the game. Three is, is perfect. And and here you, you just... I, I want this, this site to maybe reward more of Guildmaster, more of a grey playstyle, more of a green playstyle. Uh, than Giza A usually does. Uh, I think this this should work quite nicely. Again, nothing game breaking, just soft uh, improvements to to give those other less played sides a little bit more focus, maybe a little a bit of other direction with two sides that are quite different. When when you are choosing sides, you're also sending a signal to your opponent. Uh, so, so that can also help uh, you send the signals uh, to other players, for example, in five player counts, where I think this is actually quite important. Uh, so I think this very small change, you'll hear, you'll hear me uh, saying very small change quite a lot. I hope you are not making it a drinking game, uh, because I think that you might not survive this. Uh, but here, uh, I think this is very, very justified. And on the B side, no changes. Uh, I think some small changes to the loyalty, just because of how we, we did this. Again, huge help to Nathan Berry, uh, who helped me uh, setting this all up. Uh, the um, graphing design is all his. I just provided the ideas. Uh, cannot thank him enough, honestly. Uh, he enabled me to do so much cool stuff on the channel. And getting back to Giza B, no changes here. Just nice. nice. Um, Giza as we all know it. It hasn't changed from the first edition to the second edition. I think this is still valid. Uh, this is still perfectly fine in a lot of setups. You know, sometimes it's pretty bad. Um, we actually are seeing that in five-player arena, uh, Giza is not recording that great numbers of wins. 
uh, but it's pretty stable and can can sometimes you know uh, just yield you that second or third place uh, and we finally got to the level h and this is where the big boys come in you know, halicarnassus as you probably know is the best wonder in all player counts which is a little bit weird because usually that's that fluctuates a little bit but not for Halley. Halley is very strong on B and it's very there are very few reasons to ever try the A side uh, so hopefully with this rebalance I can give you the reason to play the A side uh, a little bit more or a lot more uh, that was actually my goal here uh, so the the third stage doesn't change it's still free stone here instead of the uh, papyrus battle we have two wood so that's much easier and here we do not change a thing as well so this is the only change to uh, to Halicarnassus A and you might ask like Halicarnassus is a green wonder this might be even a nerf uh, but this actually um, again is pushing Halicarnassus into some other territory uh, this is more of a haven strategies with a lot of browns and not caring about greens uh, that much or maybe even at all uh, this is to, to push Halicarnassus to, to some other uh, directions instead of just uh, spamming green um, a lot of the time like people do uh, in the new edition because ju that's just so strong and so solid and so hard to stop uh, but all-ins are not very fun for anyone who is playing at the table, uh, so I, I used to love playing uh, the Haven Halicarnassus strategy uh, in the old edition. Here, this would be a little worse than, uh, hopefully a little worse than it was in the previous edition, uh, but still strong enough to, to make this uh, a middle uh, of the road wonder along with everything else. Let's look at the B side, how I decide to, to stop the, the madness that is Halicarnassus B in the new edition. Uh, by the way, there is a link in the description for petition on Board Game Arena to give players an option to play without Halicarnassus B. And this is what I think Halicarnassus B could look if it was like a little bit more uh, balanced. Um, so first we add an additional clay. Uh, this is pretty important because this cost is actually pretty hard to to do uh, but like in the, in the in the new edition like the, this stage is just is bonkers like the two clays here uh for two victory points which are missing here and here one victory point is missing as well that's that's all like three changes getting rid of points here here and adding one clay uh, so this means that halicarnassus for example in three player can be very reasonably blocked from accessing the first stage and then of course uh, the whole Halicarnassus plan falls to pieces um, you you need to like this is still very powerful like getting cards from these cards um, in that amount is is very very powerful uh, so you need to to pay for that essentially you need to like this stage still needs needs higher cost i was wondering if i should leave the points when i'm increasing this uh, but i i still thought that uh, the minus three points uh, is justified the last stage wasn't touched uh, but honestly uh, halicarnassus usually just play off first two stages most of the time uh, the third is just like a bonus or just like a uh, a fail safe it's used and it's important that it's there uh, but the first two uh, are just obnoxious usually it's not that halicarnassus wins every game uh, but when we see the stats uh, it's halicarnassus is always on top um, for first pla uh, first place percentage for average place percentage uh, for average score percentage and even average lowest score um, so that's just that's just insane and uh, there are posts on board game geek and on board game arena forums uh, showing the stats i will link them in the description for you to see and then we go to my favorite wonder olympia and i'm not even kidding i really like playing olympia uh, a site is to be preferred most of the time and uh, I really like the a site so this is just another quality of life update uh, kind of like Alexandria A was. Uh, this is a little bit more changes. We shuffled stuff a little bit. Uh, normally it's two two stone, two wood, and three clay. So we just removed one clay and moved around resources just so it's a little bit easier and a little less dependent on stone. 
we last saw on the last one and we we just improved this a little bit on the uh, on the first side this is very easy to build this is even easier to build but this stage can feel underwhelming that's why and um, that's why the cost for the second stage is so low this is essentially just one additional clay uh, that you need and this just uh, is the cost from the first stage i think this would push Olympia a little bit more. This is the wonder that people complain the most about, that it's the weakest, that uh, there is nothing good, that they can't play it. Sometimes that even they can't understand it uh, because of the like iconography that they changed in the new edition. Uh, but I again, I, st I really like it. This is a wonder that um, great players can show their mastery of the game when playing Olympia. And playing Olympia is a great challenge, but also great reward when it works. Uh, but again, context is important. So here is the B side, and we went with the small changes as well. And uh, this is just removing one battle and adding one victory point. Olympia B can be very tricky. Recently, there was a discovery uh, that Olympia B is actually really good in five player. It's actually one, maybe one of the stronger wonders. If you play it correctly, I made one video about it. Uh, there is some more to this strategy. Let me know if you want another video on that as well. But I think I have covered Olympia extensively recently. So I think that's uh, quite enough for now. But if you want, guys, please let me know uh, in the comments. Olympia is, again, powerful at five players when, when just all stars align for Olympia. Uh, but usually it's one of the weaker ones, so so this is just straight buff, you know. Uh, this is pretty small one, but over a lot of games, and uh, I think this would actually make a difference. Mm, the removal of the battle is not uh, random. It's actually just to line uh, Olympia more with its basic resource and what it can do uh, with the grace and with the greens uh, going off of those grace that... Uh, Olympia can play. And for the last wonder in the game, Rodos. Uh, my dear friend Rodos, who is not a wonder I really enjoy, but you know, uh, a lot of people do. So on the A side, I used to um, say that if they removed one of the ores, I would play the A side. And this is exactly what it is. Just uh, replace the one of the one of the ores with the battle i'm not sure it would be enough like um i was thinking about removing this but i just wanted to play it maybe a little bit safe this is the first change that i would do and i actually played it with it and it was fine um the idea is you do not need like those uh crazy stages uh for the uh for the wonder this is still free free play but this is for a very very powerful stage in the second era where reds are super important still for the red strategy so you are getting two shields and this is like walls but made of clay uh, so that's that's how it is again context uh, on the b side no changes i think rodos can be very powerful especially at four player uh, but it also can be very punishing to play Rodos and you can feel like there is uh, nothing for you to do. Uh, so hopefully if you if you feel that way, you can switch now to the A side and justify it a little bit more. One thing that I could consider in the future is actually removing one of the clays as well. Uh, so you actually don't have those like super hard costs anymore. Uh, but it would probably get the Giza treatment of replacing it uh, for a gray as well and there you have it guys tell me what you think about it tell me what you think about Hali b especially because i think that's the biggest problem you can sign a petition i guess uh upvote this on bga if you agree that Hali Carnassus there should be an option to play without Hali Carnassus b on board game arena please like and subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out and it doesn't cost you anything see you in the next video bye Thank mm -hmm. you.